welcome to Lone Star, where I review not so good movies like I'm pretentious. So this week I decided to watch Marmaduke. It's a story about a talking dog named Marmaduke, voiced by Owen Wilson, who moves to California with his owners like he's some kind of celebrity or YouTuber. I'm not going to tell you the rest of the plot, you do that by checking out Wikipedia. So what are the five things that make this film bad? 1. It was based on a newspaper comic strip, and instead of being relevant to the comic strip, the movie decides to take its own path. This is the same thing that happened with Garfield. I saw things like Liz liking John, Odie being a wiener dog, and Nermal not being cute. It just wasn't right. So it basically strips all the relevancy of the comics and turns it into the OC, dog style, and uses every Californian stereotype. Once the movie got into the plot, the whole idea of the comic strip was ignored. 2. The audience is intended for kids who haven't read the comic. You know, you could have thought of an entirely original movie without having to refer to a comic strip. I don't see kids spending some time reading comics in the newspapers these days. That was more like 10 years ago. 3. The concept of talking animal movies got unoriginal years ago. Maybe I'll just show many of the talking animal movies released in cinemas the past few years. Yeah, that's a lot. You don't see Pixar going around like, Hey, let's make another movie about fish, but this time we'll make it in the Antarctic. No, that's what DreamWorks does. Zing! It pisses me off that the human brain, despite all of its power, cannot even understand talking animals. Especially when it's my dog. Why won't you talk to me? Why? Why? Speak to me, Nova! 4. It wasn't very funny. Kids' movies are way better when they also appeal to adults. Such as the scene in Shrek, where he's at Farquaad's castle, and he says he must be compensating for something. Of course, that's a very bad Scottish accent, so whatever. Anyway, the jokes in this movie were quite lame, and there was an over-reliance on slapstick humour. You know, the dogs could have taken drugs. 5. The director of this movie. Tom Day, who met Owen Wilson, I presume, during the making of Shanghai Noon. He has made two critically panned films before, Showtime and Failure to Launch. Oh well, at least it wasn't Uber Bowl. The fact is, even for a kid's movie, it wasn't good. So comment below telling me your opinion of this film, and I'll see you next time.